Hello everyone, this is John. Anyways, uh, a few people asked me to make a video on how I'm making my bags. Um, I have some pieces already cut out and stuff, and I am going to show you the pieces that we're going to need. Let me just grab these. I have them in different sections. Uh, first off, let's move that out of the way. I don't really have a table big enough to show you this. But what I have is I have three pieces. I have the inside, the middle, and the outside. The pattern that I have is basically uh, pattern 23.99, and it calls for quilted fabric. And instead of getting quilted fabric, I'm um, Use, doing my own quilted fabric and lining it myself. So I'm going to measure this out so you can see the size of it. I got my measuring tape here and it is actually going to be uh, 23 inches wide by now let's do the short part first by 20 inches and then this little jagged edge is going to be it's going to be cut in by four and a half inches and four and a half inches on both sides and it's going to be uh, four and a half inches high so hopefully you can see that uh, this is four and a half inches, that's four and a half inches. From here to here is 20 inches, and from width to width is 22 inches. And all you're going to do two of the green, two of the uh, fill in, and two of the outside of the bag. Uh, and then you're going to need four of these pieces, which I already ironed, uh, and these are, I can tell you right on my measuring board, one, two, three, four, four and a half inches wide by 22 inches. So they're the width of the bag. Uh, and you're going to need four of those, and then you are going to need uh, two of these. These are the straps that go on the bags. And these are the fabric folded in half. And they are also, let's see, they are three and a half inches wide. Fabric folded in half. They are uh, 34 and a half inches long. You can make them a little bit longer depending on how long you want your straps. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is this is actually the bottom of your bag. Uh, first thing I did is I'm going to stay, uh, pin these on and what I did is I pinned this on to the very top and I lined up the top and I pinned it all the way across and then I pinned it here, here, and then I pinned on the bottom and it's going to be about an inch from the bottom of the bag. Uh, and you're going to want to do two of these, front and back, and when you do the second one you want to make sure that it lines up with the first one. So when you sew the front and the back together, uh, the stripes will line up. So that will be that. And the very first thing that I'm going to do when I get into my sewing room, which I'll bring you in there, is I'm going to sew across this, and I'm going to sew across this. That will basically stabilize all of my batten and stuff so it's easily workable. And then after I sew those two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this onto this side here, and this is going to be folded in to match 
Okay, so it'll be folded in like that with your zipper in between. So your zipper will be on this side. And what I'll do is I'll also take the other side of the bag and I will do the exact same thing on this side is I'll stitch my stripes on and then I'll stitch the zipper on this side. Once that's done, then what I can do is I can close the bag this way so the inside of the bag is on the outside and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch down this edge I'm going to stitch down this edge and I'm going to stitch across the bottom. After that's all done, I will show you more from that point on. I'm going to stop this demonstration right now and I'm going to take this into my sewing room and sew it.